Once more, the shark turns back to this place of centered calm. staircases and a mosaic swimming pool, the Chatelaine is still only Port Clovis's second most ostentatious yacht. to eat over a ton of food every day, which here in the Gulf mostly consists of hammerhead sharks.
sharks are known to make clever use of their hydronautical appendages. Fish gears because of these oil tankers spinning. But it brings a lot of money into the economy. Can't argue with that. have retaliated with deterrent action, but mankind is ultimately impotent to stop Mother Nature's vengeance. to close the beaches. But why do that when you can just set loose a gang of amphetamine-fueled locals with guns? Into 
scuba back when he was a teenager. This museum's the first place I took him when he got certified. Lord Clovis has grown bored of the hunt, leaving our shark to fight another day. The Gulf Stream brings warm waters northeast across the Atlantic towards English seaside regions filled with cranky pensioners, donkey rides, and heroin. A shrill chorus of ankle bracelet alarms fills the air as shark hunters lead their homes to trap our bull shark. The university sends their students out here every summer to study the reefs. Shit. Guess we all got different ideas about summer fun, yeah? Humans' attention spans are short. They've already forgotten about the shark and her many crimes, so thus ends the bounty. The shark, perhaps having gone too far with her planks and hijinks, is now the subject of a county-wide shark hunt. You better believe those sewer lines need work. I've had campylobacteriosis, cryptosporidiosis, leptospirosis. Let me tell you, partner, that ain't no joke. Forgotten all about its rogue shark for now. The cetacean assassin, the sperm whale. 
the world practically ran on sperm whale oil. Now we can only watch them from afar, dreaming of tapping their skulls for all that sweet spermaceti. The bull shark tracks down a seal and gets a mouthful of disgusting blubber for its efforts. Pete has a new boat, and from the looks of it, there are several features probably not legal for civilian use. So you found me. So what? Uh... Pete, I, I don't know what all this is, but you're scaring us. <laughs> what you gotta be scared about? You a shark? Uh, Pete, I don't want to, but I, I think we need to get the police, maybe the Coast Guard involved? You think I'm crazy? No, no. I'm the most sane man you ever seen. Look, I didn't get it easy. But when some... some shark take everything I got, I'll give her the same chance she gave my boy. None! Now get the f*** off my boat, before I kill you too. The f*** I say! <laughs> Hope you got a hunger on! We serve a shark to fair tonight! Hello there, girlie. As you can see, I came prepared today. Oh, I'ma fix you up real good.
right in my sights.
Need reinforcements! Don't drag ass now! We back on! Laissez les bons temps rouler. I suppose there's a lesson to be gleaned here. 
Something about how the increasing commodification of the natural world has placed humans on a collision course with an environmental apocalypse. But this is a basic cable show where people tune in to watch sharks kill people and people kill sharks. So until next fishing season, this is Maneater.